So I have never used Google Drive before really, like a little bit in college, but I was mostly a Microsoft Word person who would just use Microsoft Office products. This year I decided to use Google because it's free. I did not realize how many dip different options there are on Google Sheets. Like Excel, I know how to kind of work that to make it how I want it to be used. But Google Sheets has all these different like templates. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but look, they have like, like a to-do list, budgeting stuff, which I mean, I figured, but I didn't know they had this little education part. Where is it? Down here, where you can do like attendance, grade book, assignment tracker. Like, these are very cool and I probably will be using them this year. I think I'm gonna go on YouTube and kind of look and see what other types of Excel or um, Google spreadsheet things I can use because I'm, I'm a fan of this. Anyways, I was really on here because I was trying to figure out how to create two different things. I want like, I'm mostly a, I like to print off things and just have paper and pencil, but I want to try to save that and just use more electronic versions of things. So I'm trying to create two things. I'm trying to get a calendar for myself. I usually print off a calendar and write down like assignments and things. And two, I also want to create this document that has my like, um, my overview for the year on it. That way it can also be printed off and used again, hopefully throughout the years. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I was on Google Spreadsheets, but I just thought that was so cool. So, hmm, I'm gonna need to do some more work on Google. Don't sleep on Google. So I was walking around campus and then I saw the gym had kind of finally opened back up. So I might go down there, join in on a fitness class that another girl is leading. Really not good with exercising, but I want to be able to move my body, kind of get it going up, like get back into working out. So I think I'm gonna do that. Ugh, we'll see. Update. I might not do it, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I'm gonna get dressed. That's half the battle, and then we'll see if I make it down there. I did it. I worked out, and it was really hard, but I did it, and I'm proud of myself for moving my body. Um, she does the class every day. I don't know if I'm ready to do that commitment every day. So we'll see. Plus, I really did not bring that much workout clothes. Like, I think this is the only shirt that I brought to work out in. It's my Save the Human Polar Bear shirt. Um, so I might need to figure that out. But it was good. And then I was socializing, making new friends. At dinner tonight, I was talking to two guys from India. Um, I think that's the coolest part about well, there's a lot of cool parts, but a cool part about being here where I'm at, um, this campus has a lot of different people from different places. So it's like a very, um, what do we call it? Like uh, cross-cultural, intercultural, um, just multicultural <laughs> um, place. And it's just so cool to talk to people about where they're from and the differences and get a better picture of the world from them. Like, I learned things tonight about India that I had not known and now I'm like, wow, the way I've been talking about it or the thoughts that I had are completely different. Which just goes to show that even though you could read and listen to things, like when you actually are talking to somebody from that place, they have a completely different mindset about it than what you might think that they do. So, expanding my worldview, which has been really good. I've met people from like all over. Um, people from Caribbean islands, Brazil, um, European countries, a variety. Just so cool to see where people are from. And not only that, but where people have traveled to. They've traveled to a lot of different places. Um, so that's been a really cool thing to take with me. And I hope I'm able to just continue to learn more from them. Good morning, it is Tuesday. My legs are feeling a little sore from the workout yesterday. I guess that's a good thing. Um, plans for today include going to my classroom, doing some more work, trying to figure out how to get digitally organized, possibly using Google. I did go ahead and research some things last night. I know I said I wasn't gonna do work at home, but I was waiting for a YouTube video to upload. Decided to go ahead and watch a couple of things. I was looking at 
was it pocket full of primary because I know that she uses a bunch of Google things trying to get an understanding of how to use it in the way I want it to be used so I was playing around with some things last night decided to stop I'll just pick it up today so that's kind of the thing for today figure out how to get organized look at my scope and sequence for math and get that put in um, I'm trying to do it digitally that way I can print it out and then somebody else can use it uh, so yeah, those are the plans for today. Might work out later. That girl does a class every day at five. I might not though, mostly because I really do not have workout clothes and I wore like my one workout outfit. So I gotta figure out how to make that all work. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna walk out, see if I can buy a coconut. I picked up a few Kamai words to post possibly help me. So we'll see if I find one. If not, no love lost, but here I go, venturing out on my own. All right, did not find a coconut. I also didn't, didn't walk very far, mostly because I didn't want to go very far and get lost, and secondly, because it was really hot. So I ended up just walking back without a coconut. So maybe another day I will venture out and try to get one again. But at least I kind of know a little bit more Kamai to help me get around. So back to plus. Back in my classroom to cool off. It's a lot cooler in here right now. I don't have the AC on, but it's just cooler. I am sweating. <laughs> I'm working on a document that I hope will be really helpful for me for this year. And once I like kind of get it down and together, I want to show you the whole thing. Um, I also just had a conversation with another guy about learning languages and specifically learning Khmer. Um, just some tips and tricks and things and I hopefully will be having a tutor soon so I can start to learn a little more Khmer and get around and talk to with people build those relationships with people so that will be really nice I also was a little afraid though when he was talking like it is very nerve-wracking to practice a new language like I know people are like oh you gotta like talk you gotta speak you gotta practice but like oh my goodness it feels very like oh, everyone's judging me everyone's laughing like oof that piece of like being able to look foolish in front of other people is a little scary and just making sure I have enough um, time to commit to learning the language as well as being able to do my job well I don't want to get stuck in a cycle where I am just doing everything and overworking myself because I've done that did that last year and I barely survived so I want to make sure I'm like using my time wisely making sure that I am having enough time to just enjoy this beautiful country and the people here I'd so. like to introduce you to my pet gecko I like to play in Zeke and we are both very afraid of each other I am just as afraid of him as he is of me he has no name Oh, there he goes. Okay. Goodbye, pet gecko. Right now, getting ready for the day. I'm really tired. I feel like I was really tired yesterday, and now I'm still really tired. I don't know what it is. Part of me thinks it's, it might be part of the diet, because I've been eating, like, rice and, like, cooked vegetables all week, which vegetables are good. I think I should eat some raw fruits, raw vegetables in my body. Um, plans for today are to continue to work on the document I'm working on in my classroom, continue to get things ready for the year, kind of look at, um, I've been looking at this week just math and trying to figure out a plan for math for the whole year. I also think I might work out later today, and that's about it for today's plans. I uh, have a language class tomorrow. However, I'm starting to get worried that I'm like overdoing it, overbooking myself with all these things. And I really don't want to do what I did last year, burn myself out. So I might have to step back, reevaluate some things, and make a new plan for the year. But things are starting to get busy. I'm starting to have more things to do, which is both good because I feel like I'm doing what I came here to do and a little exhausting because I'm like, happen to my summer I want my summer back but that's okay I'm still really liking it here and I'm determined to have a another great day my friend bought me a coconut 
already drank all the juice out of it. I think I'm just gonna put it in the fridge, save it, and then try to crack it open and peel out all the fresh coconut and eat it. But I am so glad. I love a good fresh coconut. I feel like that's becoming one of my favorite things here. I think instead of going to my classroom to do some work, I think I'm actually gonna go to the store. There's some things I need to pick up. I typically go into the store with another friend on Sunday mornings. However, there's just some things I need that are not in that store. I need to go to another one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a rickshaw. I think I was calling it a tuk-tuk earlier, but it's a rickshaw on Pass App, which is like Uber, and go over to the store, come back, and then go to my classroom. That's my plan for right now. Let's see what I do. Okay, so I made it to the store, got some things I needed. I have never been up, this was like a three level store. Never been up here, it has all the clothes and shoes and other things here. But this is a pretty big store, lots of different food items. I'm hoping to be able to come shopping with um, someone who's like Cambodian who can kind of tell me a little bit more about the snacks and stuff. Maybe do a little video about taste testing. There's all these different flavors of Lay's chips I also want to try. So hopefully I can make that into a video. But yeah, I think I got what I need. I think I'm going to get a pass app back home, put this away, go back to my classroom, do some work before lunch. Oh, the other day I was thinking, wow, I think I'm getting used to the weather here. No, I just had to walk across with all of my bags or all the bags I got there, the pillow, the other stuff. Yeah, I just had to like walk across the campus with all of that and it's hot today. Like the sun was just out. I am so sweaty. Like that stuff there, it's just sweat. So I'm gonna cool off before I go over to my classroom. Um, put these stuff away. Yeah, wow. And yet, we're not even in the hot season. We have some time before I get there, but whew, it's hot. <laughs> All right, it's after lunch. I keep forgetting to film what my lunch looks like. Hopefully one day this week I'll get to that. Look at this cute pack of tissues. I got it from the store for my classroom. I also bought a coffee. Um, I also bought a roll of toilet paper at the store, which probably didn't need to do, could have just used the one from my home. But I figured this one I can keep in my classroom. So when you go to the bathroom, they don't have any toilet paper, so you're gonna have to bring your own. Something that's very common for Southeast Asia. Have toilet paper, also have like soap or hand sanitizer too. The bathrooms here in this building have soap, I'm fine. It's just the toilet paper. So this way I have some in my classroom, easily available for myself. Yeah, so I'm gonna get to work. I don't know where this day has gone. It's like two o'clock and I feel like I've done nothing. So I have a lot more work to get done in planning and preparing for the year. Let's hope I get something done today. They don't really, really use oil, so they use like okay. pork lard ah. and butter. Oh, so, that what that is better. Yeah. Okay, so we have wait, what kind of meat is this? Uh, pork and beef. Pork and beef. Yeah. Some vegetables, eggs. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you put? Is this just like water? A soup. They actually has a like a, it's a soup base. Oh, okay. So they have like the barbecue on the top, and then this mm. kind of like a hot pot on the bottom. Ooh, cool. Yeah. So in Khmer, what you say? What we call this? Uh, Le Phnom. Go Le Phnom. Go Le Phnom. So it's like Go is like uh, cow, and then this Phnom is mountain. So it says that the mountain, hey, the cow on the mountain. <laughs> because we are kind of identically like if they eat beef, it's like the beef is on the mountain. Oh my goodness, that's so great. Okay, so this place is called the Penguin Khmer style barbecue. We got some extra noodles in our pot. It's really good. It's like a barbecue and hot pot mixed together. It's so good. 
So it's just in form of these are pumpkin noodles. Very good. 